Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next question. Okay, so this question belongs to GATE CSC 2006 guys. <coughs> okay, sorry for that. Okay, so let us continue. So consider the relation enrolled student comma course. Okay, so they are saying there is a table which contains a student and course in which student comma course is the primary key. Okay, so internally totally both of them combined it is the primary key. Okay, so and the relation paid student comma amount where student is the primary key. So in this table only student is the primary key. Okay, so assume no null values and no foreign key or integrity constraint is there in these two tables. Okay, assume that amounts 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 were each paid 20% of the students by 20% of the students. Okay. So consider these queries, query plans. So we are having two plans, it seems, guys. Okay. So I think the representation is missing. Just give me a second. So I think this could be the plan one, guys. This could be plan two. It's not given in the question to be clear. Okay. Yes. To list all the courses taken by the students. So our goal is to print the courses which are taken by the students, guys. But who paid them? Okay. Yes. And now they are saying a disk seek takes. 4 milliseconds okay disk data transfer bandwidth is a 300 mbps and checking a tuple to see if the amount is greater than x takes 10 microseconds which of the following is correct okay so option a says that plan 1 and plan 2 will not output identical rows for the database b says that a course may be listed more than once in the output of plan 1 from for some databases okay so option c says that for x is equals to 500 5000 plan 1 executes faster than plan 2 for all databases for x is equals to 9000 plan 1 executes slower than plan 2 for all databases okay yes so i think in the whole scenario is nothing but they are asking which plan is better that's it right Yes, so we are assuming this as plan 1 and this as plan 2, right? Yes, so in the question, they clearly gave that the amounts, right? Okay, so let us uh, take a small example, guys. I, I think with the example, it will be clear for us, right? So X, Y, Z. Okay, so A, B, C, D, E, we want 5, right? Okay, so let us uh, start in this. Way. So A, B, C, D, E. So these are the student names and this guy paid 6K, 7K, 8K. 9k 10k okay okay they are paying 20 percent of it let it be so let us assume they are paying this much only okay and they clearly told that there is one more table with the student name and course b c d e x x x y and z so these are the course name so a single course can be taken by multiple students right yes and that is the main reason why it is combinedly called as primary key okay yes okay Okay, so now we are executing plan 1 and plan 2. Okay, so now let us go through option C and D first guys because at that time they gave here in the plan A there is X value. Okay, so that is the reason why I think it will be better here, right? Yes. So enrolled table we are passing to this. Okay, and paid table we are passing through this. The only difference in the first line which I observe is here we are checking the condition. Here we are not checking any condition guys. Okay, so if we are checking the condition, so the number of rows which will go inside will be less, right? Yes, so here all the rows will go inside, right? Okay, so let us first analyze plan 1, guys, then we'll be moving on to plan 2. Okay, so plan 1 is going to check if x value is 5000, plan 1 executes faster than, okay. So they are saying this x value is a 5000, guys. Okay, so if x value is 5000, indirectly all of these will pass, right? So assume that some students are having less than 5000 also. So at that time, those people will stop here, right? Yes. So after that, indexed the nested loop joint and project on course. Okay, so we are going to do this execution. Okay, we are going to perform joint and then we are going to project the course. So what course they are taking, we are printing it. Okay, so I understood what exactly they are trying to do. Okay, so now let us go through this. So this is also doing that nested loop joint. So we are performing joint in between these two guys. Then we are checking the condition. Okay, so here we are checking condition later on and we are projecting. Okay, so now I understood basically the thing here is here we are executing the condition later on here we are executing the condition faster so which will be faster guys 
think 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 so this will be faster the main reason why i am saying this process one or plan one will be faster is because here assume that we have a table with 10 entries assume that here we have a table with 10 entries so once it passed so this passed with 10 entries but a few cases failed this condition and they only five cases passed it at that time once we perform joint so assume that it is a rather than joint let us assume cartesian product guys so if we assume cartesian product so the output will be 50 equations right or 50 entries so now the output will be 50 entries based on that right yes so if you apply here the same process initially you will start with 10 here also you will have 10 so once you perform joint here there are 100 entries guys so on this 100 entries you need to perform this x condition so at that time you could get more entries and the, here it is 50 and here it is 100 so which is slower and which is faster guys so here joint per joint will perform on 100 times indirectly right here it is 50 times so this is faster so i think uh, plan one is faster for sure guys okay so plan one executes faster than plan two on all databases so i'm sure about this and this option d says that it acts slower so that's absolutely wrong okay moving on option a says that plan one and plan two will not give identical output so if you recall both are doing same thing right how you will get different outputs guys wrong moving on to option b option b says that a course may be listed more than once in the output of plan one for the same database so indirectly here also they are saying for plan one if i apply i will get more means indirectly they are saying in plan two i am not getting i am not going to get more right so that is also wrong because we are going to get the same output guys so with that analysis i think we can conclude that c is the correct answer got it yes so it's a quite interesting question and the whole data here he gave about seek time that this this all things are just to play with us guys got it yes so that's there's no relation in between our question for that right yes okay so now i hope everyone got a clear idea with respect to this question right yes so this is an interesting question right yes okay so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this so in the next lecture let us continue with the next question okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching like share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this thank you